community. This is Randy. Today I have my neighbor over here who's going to film for me while I do Mazzy's Whack-A-Mole. So my records are set up so that uh, A through uh, G is here and the rest of the alphabet's over there. So I'm going to take two from here, three from there. So here we go. There's one. There's two. Not licking yet. Going over here to the other uh, area. Oh, okay. Um, so, yeah, so down here is the rest of the alphabet. So, it's going to take it's three kind of more. And, uh, yeah, uh, so I'm not going to look here. Uh, yeah, there's four. And uh, yeah, five. Okay, so that's it. So, if I can uh, ask my neighbor to just bear with me, we will uh, we'll, uh, tell you about these records. So, uh, can you see it okay? Is everything like yeah. it? Yeah, uh-huh. Um, the first one I got here is Alfie. This is a Sonny Rollins record with orchestra conducted by Oliver Nelson. So, this is a record that was um, really popular in the V.C. Uh, I mean, I guess it's still popular in the VC. But about six months ago, several people were showing this. And um, it really made me want to get it. And so I did. I got this copy from Discogs. This is um, Sonny Rollins playing music for the movie Alfie. This is the soundtrack. The interesting thing about this is that the song Alfie is not on here. Um, that Burt Bacharach song, I guess, was maybe added to the movie later or something like that. So, yeah, here's what. This record looks like so. Alfie's theme. He's younger than you are. So these are just instrumental. It's soundtrack music. So, Sonny Rollins sounds really good. It's on Impulse. Okay, Kingston Trio. Best of the Kingston Trio. Uh, <laughs> boy, I don't know much about this one at all. I've got three or four Kingston Trio records. You know, I've listened to them. Don't listen to them a whole lot. Kingston Trio were American folk rock band in the late 50s, early 60s. I think Tom Dooley was probably their big hit. Well, here we are. That's the Kingston. So Tom Dooley, uh, Where Have All the Flowers Gone, Worried Man. Uh, what other ones do I know on here? I think those are really all the ones that I know. Um, so, yeah, folk rock band from the early 60s, late 50s, early 60s. Kingston Trio. I should listen to that a little bit more. Ah, fantastic. I was actually just listening to this uh, yesterday. Uh, it's a fantastic album. This is J&K, uh, the J&K Trombone Octet. So um, <clears throat> this is J.J. Uh, Johnson and K. Wendig. They both play um, trombone. Uh, in the, I think in the, in the 50s they put this band. Uh, they, well, they started for, performing together themselves, and then for this particular record, they made arrangements that uh, were for uh, six trombones in addition to themselves. So, uh, a lot of trombone on this record. It sounds really good. Uh, this is an old record. I think this is an original from whatever year it came out. There is the label, the Columbia 6i. And uh, I got this used at Phonolux. Just happened to come across it there. It was a really good find. I, I really like the cover. I mean, I think the cover is just fantastic. Shows these. Six guys playing trombone and, you know, sitting on each other's trombones. So, yeah. J and K. Okay. Uh, Brian Eno. Here come the Warm Jets. I believe that this is Brian Eno's first uh, solo album. I'm not sure about that, though. Uh, really, but Brian Eno was a member of Roxy Music in the uh, early 70s. I think he just stayed for the first two albums, and then after that he broke out on his own. So this, I think, like I said, I think this was his first solo album. This was before he started doing the ambient music that he became well known for in the 70s. And uh, I think this is the, the rock and roll album. This is, uh, you know, I have uh, Another Green World and Taking Tiger Mountain. Those albums are really good too. This is this one uh, is, yeah, a little bit more rock and roll oriented, I guess, than those. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if there's really, I mean, I guess the best known song on here would be Babies on Fire. So, yeah. Brian?
shiny now. Here come more jets. And the last one. Sabbath Bloody Sabbath. Black Sabbath. Uh, this is a fantastic album. I got this album actually when it came out. When I was in uh, like 8th grade. I think this is not that copy though. This is a reissue. Um, something happened to my original. This is a gatefold sleeve. This is a reissue that I got. Uh, just within the past two or three or four, great picture of the band there, two or three or four years. Uh, the back of this looks like, so this is a fantastic album, Black Sabbath. I, I believe this is their uh, fifth album. I think this came out uh, right after volume four. And uh, the best, uh, my favorite songs on here anyway are uh, National Acrobat. Uh... Boy, you know, probably Spiral Architect. Interesting back cover. So, yeah. There it is. Mazzy, uh, Whack-A-Mole, five records chosen at random. So, um, that's it. So, this, uh, in case I forgot to mention at the beginning, this is a contest entry for, uh, for Mazzy's uh, Whack-A-Mole. So, uh, that's it. Uh, let me know what you think about these. And, uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching. It stopped, right? Mm -hmm.